All right, friends, welcome to Poem in Your Pocket Day here in our library. Today, it actually is Poem in Your Pocket Day um, all across the country. Uh, so it's a day where people are encouraged to carry a poem in their pocket and to share that poem with as many people as you can. So in a moment, you'll have a chance to come up to the microphone, sit down on the stool, and you'll notice we're all wearing masks, right? So you've got to speak up a little bit so we can hear you through your mask, but you've got the microphone to help you as long as you're facing toward the microphone, okay? If you need to move it up or down, you can do that when you sit down. Also be careful because there's cords up here from the microphone and the lights. So just watch, make sure you're not getting tangled up. I'm gonna start us off with a poem. Remember, you probably practiced this already, but when someone shares a poem, we celebrate poetry with snaps, or you can also do a quiet clap if you have trouble snapping. Yeah, I can't get We are recording this, so even if your family is not watching us live, they will be able to watch later on um, our the link that I will share. So here is the poem that I have in my pocket. And this poem is called Keep a Poem in Your Pocket. Keep a poem in your pocket and a picture in your head. And you'll never feel lonely at night when you're in bed. The little poem will sing to you, a little picture bring to you, a dozen dreams to dance to you at night when you're in bed. So keep a picture in your pocket and a poem in your head, and you'll never feel lonely at night when you are in bed. All right, so I'm going to turn it over to you. For the order that you're going in. All right, so for Evan, up here in Texas, say it's asking for a passcode. It's but that's the parents on it. Yeah, it shouldn't be asking for a passcode. But uh, if they click it? straight from the link that's in that document. What's your line? I don't see more. I don't see more. Listen, hey class, if you can't see them all because we we can see most of the speaker, okay? But there's other people watching, all right? And not everybody has on, so you can see the people who have their camera on are going to be at the beginning. I'm on Candace Dayla. Um, Candace Dayla. Yes, you might. Who's there? American Cat Scooper. Go ahead. The duck, the duck goes quack, quack, quack. The duck goes quack, quack, quack. The duck goes quack, quack, quack. Squawk. <laughs> Four poems I'm on this one. I have more of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep oh, going. <laughs> yeah. Go, keep going. The chick, the chick goes beep, beep, beep. The chick goes beep, beep, beep. The chick goes beep, beep, beep. Fuck. The frog goes croak, croak, croak. The frog goes croak, croak, croak. The frog goes croak, croak, croak. Jump! Mm -hmm. Happy, so. 
Legs are right, legs are pretty. Hey, legs are awesome. Say, hey, hi, Nate. Say, hey, hi, Nate. Say, hey, Nate. and Nate are play together. And Ed and Nate are done with the problem. <laughs> Some are short, some are some are chubby, some are skinny. Either way, they are all cats. There are lions, there are tigers, there are even house cats. Either way, they are all cats. And I love them all. The chicken goes squawk, the chicken goes squawk, the chicken goes squawk, 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 squawk. He lives, he loves to say squawk. I love to say squawk. I lay eggs, I'm cooked, cooked, cooked. I love to eat seed squawk. Dogs. Dogs are the best. 
I love them. They are so cute. But why are they cute? Is it because they are silly? Is it because they have fluffy ears? No, it's because they are doggos. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 